Cheeky Richo's Eggnog Jello. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Eggnog Jello. We've got some milk here, we're just going to pop it into the Thermo Chef with our raw sugar, most of our milk, our egg yolks, our cinnamon, nutmeg, and our vanilla extract. Now we've got our gelatine powder here, we're just going to add some extra milk to that and give it a stir and while the eggnog is cooking in the thermo chef our gelatine will be dissolving and getting quite puggy in our milk. They call it blooming. It's completely dissolved and we'll be adding it to our hot liquid. Let's put that to one side. We've got about 800 grams of our milk in there at this stage. Speed to 100 degrees for seven minutes. Okay, after seven minutes, we've got a nice frothy mix here. We're just going to add our gelatine mixture, which is really quite set now. And we're going to cook it for another two minutes on speed two. Then we're going to set it in a loaf pan, which has been sprayed with oil to stop it from sticking because we'll be turning it out to serve it. Now I'm not adding cream to this because I'm going to be serving it with cream and I think it'll be rich enough. So another two minutes, speed to 100 degrees. Okay, after another two minutes, this is what you should have. This mixture is well dissolved now. We're just going to add our brandy. Now this is not going to cook out. The alcohol content will be intact, so just be aware of that. And now we're just going to pour it into our loaf pan, which has been sprayed with oil. Now it's a silicon pan and we've popped it inside a tin pan. Two reasons. Firstly is that it's not going to hold its shape very well if you've put the liquid in it. And secondly, it'll be a lot easier to take out of the silicon pan when you're going to decant it. So just pour that in. And we're just going to chill that in the refrigerator for several hours or overnight would be best. Okay, into the fridge we go. All those little vanilla seeds are going to sink to the bottom and when it's turned up they look like pepper on the top, but the flavour will be there. It's really quite hot, but it cool a bit before we put in the fridge. Next day, time to turn out our eggnog jelly. You can see it's separated quite readily from our container. We're just going to tip it upside down now onto a serving platter. And just let it slide out. And there you have it. Cheeky Richo's eggnog jello. See all the vanilla seeds have sunk to the bottom and given it almost like a coffee appearance. Now we've just got some whipped cream here that we've sweetened with a little brown sugar and we're just going to pipe a little decoration down the center of it to work quickly with whipped cream because it doesn't like being out of the fridge. And now a couple of pieces of slivered almond in there, just for decoration. Try and get the brown bit sticking up. And there you have a Chiggy Richo's Eggnog Jello. It looks pretty, it's easy to do, it's economical, and it's a nice chill dessert with a little bit of alcohol in it just for your Christmas celebration. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe. Do come back and visit us again soon. We've got so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Cheeky Richo's Eggnog Jello. Have a little taste, shall we? Okay, now we just slice down into it. The sharp knife. Slide your server down into the center of it. Scoop it over with a spoon and pop it into your serving plate. A little taste, shall we? Mmm, yummy. Mmm, you can taste the brandy. Thanks for watching.